Races are back on the schedule with broken shoulders and nasty viruses behind us. As such, I've got my Martok 10K race recap coming your way. Thanks for tuning in, cats. Ed, Midsole Bud here. If you've been enjoying the content, if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button and also click the bell below for notifications when I launch those new videos for you. It really helps us out too if you give this video a thumbs up, like, and also share it with your running buddies. A super thanks is also appreciated. If you want to help support the channel and ask me a very direct question, I can get back to you very soon. Dank, 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 assure. A 10k race today out there in sunny Martok. Well, it was sunny for a little bit of time anyway. 6.2 miles on the money in some 12 degrees centigrade temperatures with a nice cooling wind coming from the north. This is a course I've run twice before, back in 2019 and 2021. 2019 had a time of 42.41, then again in 2021 with a time of 41.46, at least on Strava. When I checked the race results, it came in at 41.39. So not too sure there, maybe I didn't stop the watch at the right time, it's very possible. You kind of do that, don't you, when you finish a race, you start celebrating and then realise you've forgotten to stop your watch. Could I make an improvement on that time on this rather flat and quick country course? Not a lot of sleep the night before, but I did manage to get to the event in good time, at least this year. Got a quick mile warm up in just to get all of the systems operational. Always feels a little bit better when you've got to a race and you've got some time just to stabilize. It was a little windy out there, but I kind of appreciated that a little bit. A little chill to the wind, which was nice. And I did appreciate the slightly overcast day out there. There wasn't lots of direct sunshine. It seemed to come and go a little bit. Certainly I can remember getting cooked back in 2021. It was very warm that day. So I wanted to start out a little bit more controlled on this race. Every time I've done it before, I've gone out way too quick in the first mile and then I've paid for it later on in the end sections of the race. I just hadn't had that extra juice that I needed. So I did position myself a little bit further back from the typical sort of starting pack. That did work and didn't work in equal measures. Did take me a little while to get going, probably lost a few seconds there of getting up to sort of match pace. But then again, that was good because I had to sort of think about controlling my pace a little more rather than just burning it and trying to catch everyone in the front, who I was never going to stay with, put it this way. If you look at the race results from today, there's some very fast people there. There's a much stronger lineup at the race this year, though oddly less runners than last year. I think it was about 50 less perhaps but a much stronger field, certainly at the front. Not sure if that's a sign of the times or there's just lots of other events going on on this weekend. First mile of 6.42 and then 6.36 on the second. Both of those with some downhill, really enjoying the downhill. I managed to navigate the initial starters and got into a good rhythm far quicker this way that left a little bit of energy for me to use up in miles three and four where you've got some climbs i could put the hammer back down for miles five and six after those which was always a bit of a problem the last two times i've run the race I wanted to try to stick to a target pace of six minutes 40 seconds per mile that would have given me a time of about 41 minutes this meant the end of the race i did have a bit of energy left to get past the pack that i had been running in for the last sort of two three miles much stronger finish this time than my previous two attempts so really pleased with that so final time of 41 minutes 38 seconds i beat my course personal record by a second it's kind of ridiculous really now you might say that doesn't really show any signs of sort of significant improvement but actually after the year that i've had i'm pretty pleased with that after having to come back from a quite bad physical injury to my shoulder back in october and then recovering from covid which i got in march of this year that took several weeks for it to fully go. Did really hamper training there and really went backwards in terms of performance. But I feel as if I've perhaps got to where I was last year again, which is fantastic. I'm not going to be unhappy with that in any way because I was really hitting some good form through July to sort of September time. So to sort of sustain my fitness and come back to that, I'm really, really pleased. I also had four and a half hours of sleep the night before this race. Um, musical performances don't play themselves, you've got to go and do them. They are quite physical and standing on your feet, but it has to be done. So to get that sort of time, plus putting all those things into place, I'm, I'm really happy with the time today. I really enjoyed it as well. You know, running should be about enjoyment, and I certainly got a lot of that. Certainly been guilty of blasting out the blocks too quick on the first mile in this race before, and you can see by the mile splits here, they're much more consistent, and I felt stronger and more in control of my performance 
all the way round today's course. Shoe wise went with the A6 Metaspeed Sky Plus. One or two things really stood out when I was using the shoe today. I'm finding the underfoot stability is much improved in this version of the shoe. I think that's probably down to the slightly wider sort of foot base here in the midfoot area. That extra width here in the mid to forefoot really does make for a more stable and assured foot placement. Just find it a little bit more aggressive than the Sky, the original version. It feels as if it's almost flinging you forward. With the other shoe, I did feel I had a lot of energy return, but it's certainly an improvement here in the Metaspeed Sky Plus. It worked well for me today at my 10K effort, and my feet are absolutely untouched after it. They're feeling very reasonable. The legs are feeling good. In fact, everything's feeling good. I was tempted to perhaps go out for a little three-mile recovery run in the Invincibles or something. I'm probably not going to do that, though, because I've eaten my body weight in pizza so that's probably not a good idea it's probably wiser to let my body recover properly give it a bit of time maybe do something tomorrow outsole worked really well on the gravelly roads today it was a bit of a mixture of terrains and surfaces actually out there rural lanes and country concrete there's a few potholes as well of course the a6 beasts work perfectly well i have to say i'm really impressed with the traction i think the quicker and more aggressive you are in terms of your running it just felt better and better it felt like you were gripping and grabbing the road the harder you hit the floor the better and better the outsole seemed to actually perform especially on turns in fact there's a couple of quite tight bends that you've got to take right near the finish is a bit of a dog leg and it really did help me out there trying to get some traction going around those bends it felt like i was gripping onto the road almost like the tarmac had warmed up a little bit but yeah very very impressed with the rubber here minimal wear here and i experienced no rubbing whatsoever in the upper of the shoe lockdown's quick to achieve and i found it very consistent over the 10k race today so all of the changes here seemingly valid at the moment in terms of improvements i haven't noted anything at all that's a step back from the v1 so it's worked well for me for the 5k and 10k distance up to now i'll be really keen to test this one out over the half marathon distance in the near future unless i can find something else before then i'll probably run the bristol half marathon if there's something else crops up i might go for that it's nice and flat i'd like to do a flat half marathon for once so a course and distance personal best here today you know only just but i'll take it but a good high level effort and some sure signs of improvement in terms of performance and fitness just really enjoying the fact that i'm able to reach those race pace targets that i've got once again more racing soon at the a6 10k in london have you been racing this weekend let the viewers and i know down in the comments the musical interlude today comes courtesy of star turn on 45 pints are you affiliated now this song is somewhat of a novelty until you start thinking about the actual vocal performance here delivered by star turn it's made to sound like it's been recorded in a social club perhaps up north somewhere and star turn is the special guest who's come all the way from london or something but clearly he hasn't he's just maybe spent some time in london at those trendy discotheques and uh, Star Turn goes on to produce a amazing performance, not dissimilar to Vic Reeves' club style, where he's singing about the fact he's trying to get into this social club and he's not a member. Someone's nicked his seat. You know, if you go to social clubs very often, you'll be very familiar of people that come in and steal people's regular seats. That's just not the done thing. Star Turn's also really worried about the bingo that's going on, hoping that he doesn't miss out on a full house. He suggests his mind's like a fruit machine spinning around and he's very stressed about everything. But when the chorus comes in, you realise Star Turn is, in fact, a very capable singer with his yodelling style. I guess in some ways it's a little bit like uh, Slim Whitman <laughs> in that sort of yodeling absolutely fantastic any star turn on 45 pint stuff is brilliant uh, really really funny if you've ever gone to social clubs you'll thoroughly enjoy it i think perhaps people over in america may have absolutely no idea what on earth i'm talking about but go and check it out it's on apple music you should be able to find it star turn on 45 pints with are you affiliated thanks for tuning in to my race recap today guys it's always appreciated if you've been giving us a super thanks as well to help the channel out that is appreciated too it does help to keep the shoes flowing in do have a special one that's arrived oh, i might be able to get out in that tomorrow depending on how the legs feel Help the channel out by hitting that subscribe button and clicking the bell below for notifications. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like and also share it with your running buddies. My name's Ed Bud and I'll be seeing you.
That's the way to recover. Look at that. Plate in there. Professional photographer. Awesome.